What's up guys, this is a quick video on the ESDDI TP30 tripod. So right guys, I've actually bought this from Amazon and I paid $26.99. What I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description below just in case if you need any more information or if you want to actually buy one. So right guys I was pretty impressed with this tripod. That's why I'm making a quick video on it. Um, compared to the one I've got this is miles better. So right let me open it up and show you. There's not much details on the box itself apart from the name. So it comes in this bag here so you can transport it it's got a handle on the side right guys you'll have to bear with me i'll try to get everything in shot as i possibly can but just like i said bear with me so right i'll open the bag up first of all it comes with this mount which is an adjustable phone mount so you can connect that to the tripod and uh, connect your phone to it. It's got a quarter inch thread at the bottom and it's got a quarter inch thread at the back of it. Next we've got the tripod. So the tripod itself is made from metal and there's a little bit of plastic as well. The plastic's on the handles and the trims and this adjustable clips but it's made out of aluminium. Feels pretty solid and really well built. We've got the user manual for it. It's not very big actually. So it just comes with all the information. It just tells you how to um, adjust it and stuff and how to use the clips and things like that and the adjustable legs right that was the user manual so like i said the tripod itself feels like it's really well built so i'm going to start from the bottom it's got these adjustable legs which are really good so compared to mine mine hasn't got adjustable legs so this is a really good feature if you've got it on the out and you need to balance it out on an uneven surface the adjustable legs are really good as well and they've got these metal clips on them so you can adjust them so all you do is pull that out and you can extend them to whatever length you want so you've got three sets of legs in there so you can adjust it after that it comes with a, a handle on its side as well so you can transport it very easily so that's a good feature as well it's got insulation on the top sides of the tripod itself and it comes with a, a leveling bubble as well to make sure your shots are level. Um, I'm trying to think what else can I tell you about it. So it's got the handle on the side you can loosen it and then that helps you tilt the camera or the phone whatever you got attached to the top of it you can tilt it up and down and you can lock that in place as well by tightening this up but if you had to take a shot and you were following something it feels nice and smooth actually so next on the side here we've got this wheel if we turn this wheel that will let us pan to the left and right and that feels pretty good and smooth as well if you want to lock it into place you just tighten this and lock it into place next on the top of it we've got a quarter inch thread here so you can connect your camera to it and you can connect your phone mount to it depending on what you want it's got a quick release on that as well so if you pull this back it will quick re release this so if you needed to take your camera off to take footage off by free hand or with your phone you can quickly release it like that um, next on the side we've got this we uh, wheel here if we loosen this up it will tilt the frame up so you can do portrait pictures or you can set it back to landscape pictures so just tighten that back up um, on the side here we've got this other wheel and we've got another wheel here if we loosen that up you can extend the phone itself 
I mean extend the tripod to make it a bit longer so it does extend quite far and you can set up that to whatever you want and then you can lock it in place with this wheel here on the side so the tripod itself is not too heavy but it's not light either compared to the tripod I, I've got at the moment it's a, a lot better build quality and uh, with mine what it is if I've got a heavy camera on the top of it it can topple over because it'll be top heavy and it, it's not very good in the wind as well this is very good and it's pretty well balanced as well if you've got a camera on top of it it's not going to tilt over so that's another reason why I, I like this tripod so this is it on its shortest amount on its legs so I'll just show you this now quickly I'll see if I can get that into frame that's there on its shortest uh, extended legs and it feels pretty solid and it is really good like I said I am pretty impressed with it it does come with this at the bottom as well it's like a little hook here so you can connect your camera to the bottom and you can get really low down shots of it so right I'm going to extend it so you can see it at its longest point with its legs so right guys this is the tripod with its legs fully extended I've not extended the top bit of it this is just with the legs extended so it will go up much higher if you extend the other half on it so I'm trying my best to get it in shot so I'm going to see if I can get it in fully so there's the adjustable legs at the bottom and then that's it fully locked out so like I said compared to the tripod I've got at the moment the pan and tilt on mine is not very good at all so if it's made any noises for you I apologize for that But right guys, that's everything I can show you. I don't think there's much else I can show you with it. And uh, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye.